So, now we've seen these three different methods of heat transfer, let's put them into action a bit and see if they can save some money on your heating bill. So, if we look at a typical house, there are loads of different ways that house can lose its heat energy. One of the big ways, as you can see, is through the roof. That's obviously because hot air rises, so that's going to be the warmest part of the house. So one thing you can do to reduce your energy bill is put some loft insulation in. Now, what loft insulation is, it's normally something made of fiberglass. And the reason this is good is it traps lots and lots and lots of air in tiny little pockets. The reason that's good is because air is a very bad conductor of heat. And if air is trapped in really tiny pockets, it's so small that convection currents can't form. So this will stop convection and massively reduce conduction. OK, what else could we do? Well, there's actually a big cavity between your walls. So your outer walls of your house have two layers of bricks with a big cavity in the middle. Now that's good because it's full of air, which is a bad conductor, but it is at the moment it's big enough for convection currents to form. So what you can do, you can get cavity wall insulation. Essentially they pump a load of foam in with lots of tiny air pockets, so no convection currents and really bad at conducting. Another thing you could do, look at all that heat going straight out your windows. Pop in some double glazing. Again, the way this works, trapping air between two panes of glass, really, really bad conductor. One of the last things you could do is put in some draft proofing. The cheapest way to reduce your energy losses. All you do is you put some plastic sort of strips around your windows and doors, stopping all the hot air escaping. All of these ways of reducing heat loss cost money. And one of the things they like to look at is how long it takes to pay back. Really simple idea. If it costs you £2,000 to put your double glazing in and you save £500 a year, how many years will it take you to make back that £2,000? Hopefully you can see that's really obvious. It would take four years. The same with any other type of payback. It's just... How long will it take me to make back in savings the amount I originally spent?